The work that I'm doing now is I'm trying to document tradition so that even with the loss of language, <coughs> you know, it's always, it's been an oral tradition. The original way was nothing was to ever be written or recorded or that type of thing. Everything was done orally and there's been a loss because of the loss of language. We feel that it's um, a necessity now to record things and to write things so that um, even if they don't understand the language, they can get a better understanding. So if they learn the language and they don't really know the traditions, I'd, want, I'd like for them to have something to be able to follow to say, oh, this is, what we, this is the way it should be. <clears throat> when the Confederacy was formed and the Five Nations were brought together, they were given this new way of life called Ganosonido, which is a union of one house. So oh, the people that are in that, in, within that, I guess, union are Houdinosoni, people of one house. So they were given this new way of life to do away with bloodshed and they buried they were told to bury all their weapons of war, which they did, and they planted the tree of peace on this mound where they buried their weapons. There was to be no more bloodshed, and actually, meaning there shouldn't be any more warriors. But we do still have these groups that call themselves warriors. Whether it's because they don't understand the meaning of the traditional Ganusunido or what it is. Hodino Sony are the people that follow these age old traditions that they were taught. The new way of life to be thankful, to be spiritual, and the important part of that is we are taught to have compassion and love and respect to help one another. Those are the important things which I think we've forgotten. <laughs>